Welcome back to Welcome back to Fierce Outlaw, guys. Today we're doing something uh, do it yourself, have you assemble again. The last time outdoor storage shed premise. So here you go. It's a 10 year warranty. Bought this for a little storage. We had this as a chicken house. Now we use it also. But I destroyed that little shed that we had. It was uh, over 20 years old now. So time to let it go. But as you see, I saved the uh, 4x4s four on it. So I could use some underground clearance. That way in case if it's snow or rain. All the water that won't go inside the shed. But anyways. So. I'm going to start unpacking. Like once again, what I say. When you guys purchase the big stuff. Make sure you double check the side box. Like. See this right here? It says box two out of two. Uh, let's see. And here you go. It says box one out of one right here. So, and this one is two out of two. So, make sure you guys have all the boxes in the first place when you buy all that stuff. So, I'll just unpack and look for uh, owner's manual like always. And we'll go from there. Alright guys, step two once you find the owner's manual. Look at this, you need all the tools. Good thing it all says all up front, so this is an owner's manual. Assembly instructions. So here you go. Like I said, always like, to, I like to save these owner's manuals later on. That way you can uh, refer to a model number and then you can find a part number or the location and they can easily locate it. What it is when you explain it instead of just trying to guess what it is. So anyways, here it is. It says all the tools that you need. I had to go to a store, hardware store, and pick up the rubber mount, mount and a little level that I, I didn't have. Other than that, I brought all the tools in the bucket right here. I mean, the wheel and the tools are in the bucket. So here you go, my drill. Anyways, like I said, always find a good spot for little screws, nuts, and bolts, uh, like a box or something. I'm going to keep it in the wheel. That way it's all... In there when I need it I'm gonna play my music here so you guys don't mind it I hope and we'll go from there so that's a step two step three is open it up and before you start, start assembling kind of maybe spread these out a little bit and like what I like to do is I'll keep the face the picture so I can at least refer a little bit to a picture how it looks where might things go just like I did assemble with a chicken coop I to basically guesstimate by looking at the picture with, with uh, the funky looking weird uh, instruction manual how to assemble it. So anyways, here we go guys. Alright guys, my my plan A got failed. So this won't, won't work, I guess. I'm going to need to later go get some uh, pallets. Probably throw it on the pallets, but meanwhile I'll just assemble it right here. As you see, I found the concrete floors uh so that's just how they assemble just kind of like a kids little play tool constructions uh block building blocks so that, that's how it is i'm gonna just assemble it and go from there just like it says right here on the bottom all right guys this is what happened this is what i had to do make, make sure it's all nice and flat so now it's time to put this on and yeah, we'll go from there. So that's going to be, sorry guys, I had to readjust and play around a little bit. I guess pallets work. Maybe later on I'm going to throw some mud underneath and that way it's just nice and flat. But for right now, technically they recommend some concrete on it, but I don't want to waste all that time right now and just not. Don't have time for for all of that yet. Maybe later once I find good good timing, maybe move it because it can be moved with three four people. So and then fix it up. But right now this is gonna work. As you see, it worked just about perfectly, just as I expected. Four pallets. So there you go. All right, guys. Next thing, this is again once again the little funky one. As you see, it says JKB. JKT is this one, GKB. Then I need JLZ. So the L brackets, the beam, six screws do not over tighten. 
attached six supports. So there you go. And uh, once again, I was trying to find the bag, but I guess whoever did this was a little drunk. Because next one I see is this what I need? Well, they're all in this bag is GLH. So there you go, guys. I tried to find it, but the bag couldn't find it. Had to figure out again. That's where it goes. So here you go. Here's a stick. Now look at this. See, it has one round and one of the oval. That's how it shows. You need to do it this way with the gap in here. So there you go. We're gonna just uh, adjust it this way. No, that. But is he? He's my little helper. All right, guys. Now next step is putting the corners. I got those ready over there. Now next step, like I said, pay attention to pictures, detail. You see how these holes uh, were the ones that we screwed? These ones, they're supposed to be inside. So we're gonna start screwing these uh, corners uh, together. With uh, the right screws again, let's see. There you go. Here's a picture of it. All right, guys. I did the first side. Now this is the second side. This is this side's gonna go like this. Match up, match the holes. And this one's gonna go for this one's gonna be on the bottom side. And you, you just tighten up using this little uh, number. What's it? 11, 11 key. Step 2.3, as you see, the little hooks, the, these ones are gonna go on the outside and they're facing inside. So they'll be going like this, like that. And this one's gonna be going like this, other way. So there you go, that's how we're gonna do it. All right, guys, just a heads up. Uh, let me put this on pause. Uh, all right, here it go. I guess I figure out it's a GLH bag, just what I grabbed. But so I was doing the right things, and here you go. This is what, what we need. Now we're on this step all together. Now uh, you need the screws, the bolts, and uh, so BLB. We need eight and twelve of these somehow. So there you go. Uh, what it means, uh, we're gonna have to stick it through outside, uh, inside, and have the nuts um, from outside, just like this. Let me put on pop. So instead of doing this way, we're gonna have to go through in here this way, and then uh, use these nuts to tighten the bolts in. And we're gonna have to have four on each. As you see, it has four, four holes, and we have to do two rails. All right, guys. Step three: GLI the bag. It's all this that we need. So let's just find all this stuff. All right, guys. Step three: we're gonna need all these parts. This bag. I got this. I got two of these. I got. There's eight of them in there, but it says I need four. Then we need that, which I got them ready. Double uh, double tape. We're gonna need that stuff. So I can get it ready. So here's the assembly. Let's get it going. Get this ready also, I guess, huh? So we're gonna need a long one and two rectangles. Look in here. This how it is. This piece goes on, and then this one doesn't go on that side, but it goes on the other end of it and a little heads up for this this goes you see how it is flat right here and got dented right here so if you look at it that's how it goes not this way but basically it goes from inside out like this that way it's not flat this way but flat like this so I'm gonna go ahead and start take that one and then work myself in Next thing, we've got two more going on right here. So, if you look at this, I gotta figure out, counted the holes on this, basically, 
the picture. So what is, technically you see how the rep, these are oval and these are square ones? Same thing here. Well, the, the square ones, that's where the rail goes, these rails. So there you go guys. Just a heads up for you, it'll be easier for you. All right guys, I did ma make a little mistake, so I had to re-screw it. As you see, this one has the holes. And actually this one that has the goosenecks or the hooks on them. So I had to switch them around a little bit because I put on the wrong hole. So always pay attention, like I said, which you see I missed this little detail myself. All right, guys, day two. I know uh, I got a little busy. So I had to pull, uh, pull back and come back to the, the next day. So anyways, day two, you could say. Uh, it says right here, we'll go, I just finished this one last time. So we're gonna need EPI, three rolls. The double masking tape, foam. Now we're gonna need these pieces right here. Three of them. One square, two rectangles, or triangles. One rectangle, two triangles, my bad. So the glasses, which are right here. Just gonna go on it, and here you go. This is, this is how uh, it's gonna be. We're gonna peel the stickers and glue it on. Pretty simple, it looks like. So let me just read the script descriptions again, and we'll go from there. Anyways, let's go back. We're gonna need jail eye bag. It's right here. That has this, these screws, the bolts. So you basically need to look at the box, the labels, that has all different parts, like uh, JLI has all this. And then now we can skip it through again and go, go back right here to a step 3.5. Which means we're gonna take these plastic screens and screw it on over here with uh, using the masking tape of these. The, to seal the, all the gaps, I believe. So let me just double check. Yeah, I see how it is. Shows right here. Let me just uh, read it real quick. I'm gonna stop and pause, read it, see if it goes on top, bottom, how it goes, and we'll go from there. Hey guys, just what I thought. This is a seal. So as you see, it has the grooves right here, just how it says in the descriptions. You see, it has, it's a little tiny strip. So you, you put all the way in the grooves, all the way around. Then you put, put this on. That's gonna, this is kinda like a tape, double masking tape you could say. It's gonna hold it for a few seconds, enough for you to take the screws and screw them in to seal it tight. So that's what we're gonna do right now. The thing, it says you, you have three of them, so enough for three windows. They have three of these, so three and three. So step one and two is done. As you see, I put a ceiling over here. You can't really see it, but let me, and it's a little crooked, but anyways, I did that. And then next thing I put gently, make sure all this, the holes line up with all the grooves. That way I don't have to drill through the plastic in order to make a window and not screw up anything. And then I slightly push it in, that way it's all nice and sealed and I'd have to move it around later. And I'll go just start screwing it, screwing the screws in. This is how it's gonna look all the way around, as you see. Sorry for the little sun and all that stuff, but anyways, I'm gonna continue doing all the rest of the windows. So there you go, guys, that's how it's supposed to look. All right, guys, I did all the windows, as you see that right here. Now it's time to do the, the air vents. Uh, you see the little gaps on the triangles? So, the seal for the flies and wasps so they don't get in. Basically, I'm gonna have to do it from inside or out. Let me double check real quick. But um, then we got these that goes right in here like this. That way the air vents gonna be sealed so let me just uh, read it 
on the next uh, page. Let's see. Right? No. Nope. All right. Let me just read the, the, the descriptions real quick and see what we need to do. Guys, just like it shows on description right here. First things first, we're gonna put the uh, a little seal, mask, double tape around the corners. Now we'll put this right here like that. And then uh, next thing is gonna go this. And then we're gonna seal with the little screws. Uh, like it says right here. From the other side and the washer. So the little screws, let me get it real quick. This right here is gonna go from underneath the from the other side, so from inside. That way all the screws are hidden from outside. Thank you. Guys, now we're moving to section four, left door assembly. So there's gonna be a door assembly as you see. Uh, it says we need a drill, the hammer, the screwdriver, the glasses, all that stuff. There's a bag, G, uh, GLJ with all the parts in it. The doors, the right and the left door, I guess, uh, that's gonna be next thing. Also, so step by step. Like I said, we could go from one, one step at a time. Sorry for being, not being proper uh, video making, cause I'm just by myself. So try to do it as descriptive as possible. But meanwhile, we'll, we'll see. Guys, it says we need a left door assembly. Uh, first of all, what you gotta do is figure out which one's right, which one left, top to bottom. This was easy because, as you see, this side it has hinges. This has doors. So just need to figure out top to bottom, which this has a sign on it, left uh, lifetime. So you, not upside down, but you gotta have it right, right side up. So this is gonna be your left door, this is your right door. As you see, if not, you can always refer to a picture. Uh, hold on, let me pause it and I'll show you. All right, as you see right here, here's a picture. That's why I like to keep the box, the picture at least, uh, so I can re always refer it. Well, lifetime right here, see the sign, the, the doors, the lock. Same thing here, it shows in a little more details. So, there you go guys, just a little heads up for you. All right, guys, next thing, you got, need to get ready of these, uh, get them ready. And what I like to do is set them up the way they are. Let's look at this, let me hide the sun a little bit. But, you see this pole right here? See the cutouts? And you see it says, uh, and it looks like a washer, so it's a round pole, which is this right here. Here are the cutouts on both ends. So, so is that in? Next thing, there's a flat piece. I always also did the same way as you see how it has two holes right here that it has all four holes and then three holes right here so as you see two holes they got four holes and uh, three holes over over there next thing a square but not just regular square because I have different poles square poles but if you look over here hold on let me you see how it has two holes in here, oval ones? Well, here they are. So I set them up the way it shows on the, on the picture. That way it's easier for me to know which one I'm grabbing, the right one, just by looking at the holes and all that. So when, just a heads up for you, that's what I do sometimes. That way, just paying a little attention to the detail, taking a little time. This way I know I'm doing it right and don't, don't have to mess around later and try to unscrew and rescrew it by just being trying to be fast at it all right so step one is we're gonna take the square one and we're gonna put it in here as you see the holes go in first what it means as you see this is not exactly in the middle the holes but they're towards the right right side which is gonna be top for the hingers I mean the door handles, that's what it is for. So that's how we're gonna do it is by the picture, make sure they're all facing outside. Sorry, I, I'm it's not outside, but it's gonna face the top. 
Because if you look at it, see these screws? That's where the door handle is going to be. Not the door handle, but the, uh, the latch for the door lock. So that's what we're going to do is uh, push it in all the way. All right, guys, once it's in, you got to make sure that you're lined up. If you look at it, you can see through at least a little bit, which is good. That means you did it right. Uh, you aligned the holes. Next thing, what it says in the description, you see this? It's right here. That one has a closed top, so the only thing is on the bottom, which is a plug-in. Or a plug that you just cover that little gap that we had to push it through. Let me put on pause. So this piece goes right here. Just kind of lock it. There you go. Fits right in. All right, guys. So next thing we're going to do is this. Put it this, this way. Yeah, you see we got the bolt, the washer, and the nut. Just how it shows. Top. From outside, we're going to do the bolt, the washer, and the nut from inside. All right, guys. So here you go. If you need to, they actually give you a drill with it. The drill bit. But if you need to, what I did, I just used a little hammer. Put in here and then uh, just kind of beat it down a little bit. And then I'll use the washer and nut with it uh, to tighten up from the other side. All right, guys, now they say turn the door, flip out the door upside down or backwards on the other side, and you'll see the holes that I'm gonna need to drill. So, uh, here you go, I flip the door, and here are the holes. As you see, one, two, three, well, the marking for the holes, as you see, sorry. Here you go. So I'm gonna need to make a drill, uh, drill the holes in them. All right, guys. After I did the drill holes, I take that little flat piece. You see how the cutout? Now look at this. Uh, this goes on top. This goes on bottom with three holes. So that's how I'm gonna do it. Is put a, put the, the holes on the bottom. And I'm gonna need the uh, screws. Uh, GLJ and I need only three of them as you see in the center and that's what I'm gonna do guys as you see I did it make make sure all these lined up if you did it right that way this is for the door handle and where the door meets when you close it I did put three screws so one here two and three and the other ones are connections and other latches that needs to be gum uh, attached to it that's why I they're not screwing in yet or they say not to screw in yet hey guys now step 4.6 as you see we're gonna attach these the way they show this is the bottom this is gonna be the top that like this and we're gonna use the same thing black screws just try not to over tight anyway guys just a heads up this I just found out look at this top be bottom so they even mark which one's which all right so that's how it goes that's why these two screws here on top and then we had two screws in the bottom and three in the center all right step 4.7 is a door uh, handle as you see right here when I got it it wasn't aligned I'll show you by what I mean so technically, oh, let me put on pause. This piece and this came along and they were upside down so I had to fit, uh, line up right now. As you see, I have two holes right here on top. Sorry, couldn't really, yeah, couldn't really see it because it's not sun. There's one on the bottom. So you just line up like that. Same thing, you use the screws and the washers and you do it from inside so there you go all right guys the handle is done as you see you got three screws right here that's how you tighten it up on the other side nice and firm 
uh, our next step of T is gonna be that GOY, that little pole, round pole that goes on the other side. That has a cutout right here. Let's see. Uh, somewhere. Right here. So that's where we're gonna put it in. All right, the, the, the rod is in. The only thing I kept it a little out. That way if I need to, I can adjust it a little bit before I completely shove it in and all. But just a heads up, that's what I'll go do for right now. Just to be safe, that way I can, if I need to, I can pull it out and all. But right now I don't want to do it completely in there. Just so I can uh, adjust it. And I'll keep keeping myself a little lever gap in case I need to play around with it. All right, guys, step five is the right door. So once again, I got the GLK uh, packet. I got this rails. I got the door. And they're right here. The rails, one of the square ones with two oval holes, round rod with a cutout, and GLK bag. So there you go, here's the door, and let's just get it going. Uh, so our next step is gonna be same thing. Line up the square. Same thing, you see the holes? Make sure they're lined up right here with this, and then plug it the bottom hole for up the rod. So there you go. All right, guys, so this is how it's gonna be the little square one right here, you see? This piece, sorry, like I said, Doing it by myself and recording it is going to be a little hard on me, but it goes right here and then the door, the lock, goes in this gap. And then you see how it is, it's going to get screw right here. Now pay attention, it has two different screws. So anyways, see how these ones are? They go in the back and these are the black ones let's see go up no it should be the other way around yeah the black ones uh up front the the small ones go in, in the back uh let's see let me take a close picture I'll look at this picture real quick so ach ach are in the back FUA are up front, so that's how it's gonna be. And then the locking, so just kind of follow the scriptures. Sorry, hold on for a second. All right, so, anyways, these two are the FUAs, these two are the ACH ones, and then these nuts. Are gonna go right here, let's see, in the back. And these ones with the ends, covered ends, gonna go up front. So let's just do that real quick. How it's gonna go, cause this is gonna go in. This is for the lock. Now look at this, pay attention, cause the holes, these are a little smaller than this. Same thing, the screws, these are a little smaller and the bottom ones are a little bigger. So, for the back ones, so you line it up like that, and you put the washers on, the bolts on. All right, so our next step is gonna be drilling a hole and screwing this up front, on top, and then might as well just go ahead and do the handle. Same thing, just like we did the left door, now we're gonna do the right door. Just same exact step. All right guys, here's the vault the floors so all that you need to do is just stick them in and then you're done let's see what's next uh, I actually did that already right here so we'll see what's next gonna be I don't see the screw where the screws need to go yet but just give me a minute we'll see all right guys so I did line up though it's supposed to be Put these these rounds in. Now I need to do the for the door latch. This using the these two screws. Let's go back over here. So I put the drainage. Those are the drain holes. 
right here. I know why, but they don't have the screws for it, so I'm not gonna figure out something to, so they hold it. Anyways, uh, let's see. It goes this way. I just have to screw them in. So step 6.4 is using this, these screws. I'm gonna have to screw the seal where the two, the three pieces connect together. So this is one, two, and three. I'm gonna have to do in the between the rivet, uh, the gaps. So let's go over here. You see the these the screw gaps. That's what I'm gonna go through all the way and screw these uh, screws in. All right, guys. Step seven, JLM bag right here. We're gonna need two uh, rods, six of them. So when you want the long, tiny ones, which is gonna be this piece right here. So the, these tiny, this is the tiny long one. Um, let's go back over here. It says AGY, AGN. I believe this is gonna be the sides for the where the doors latch on now we got six of the walls uh hd and two of the hgw so hy agn i'm guessing but this is it right here and then uh we got other pieces that are the walls so let's we'll just go on and double check and get things ready all right guys so Easy thing about this is at the bottom, as you see, it got labels AGW, AGY, AHD. You got six of them and you got two of those. So that was good. Make it easy to separate. Now, time to go on the next step. All right, 7.2. We got the steel rods, the square one goes inside. And we need to put an end cap on it, which is these black ones. And then we're gonna use the uh, screw, uh, screws. Uh, Let's we'll see which ones are they say. G uh, GJG, which are these. So we're gonna do all that and screw it with all the screws. All right, guys. Our next thing is find the AGY. Uh, she and do a GLS stick in the circle. So here it is. Pay attention, it says no notches. Remember the door ones has the notches. And these poles, you see how they don't have the notches at the end? So there's one and I also did the other one for this door right here. I mean this sheet, because that's the only two left. So just kind of take a step ahead. All right, so next thing we're gonna have to do the AGY, the one that we stuck a pole in, which I'm assuming it's gonna go right in here, the pole, this little corner. Uh, so what we're gonna have to do is bend in half, just like this. And then if necessary, we use the wooden block that's provided for us and use a rubber mallet to hit it in till you hear a click as it says right here you should hear a click when the tab pops into place so let's do that all right guys so i did this here you go now we're gonna need this screws once again and uh, we're gonna keep on doing the ahz stick them in there and then we're gonna have to do the agw the corner so this is how it's supposed to look. As you see, we got it in. Uh, so we're gonna have HD and then HD, ADW, whatever, the corner one. That's gonna have to go built just like this way again. So. Next thing you see these screws right here. We're gonna have to screw the, um, to hold them tight, you see the seals. So let me. As you see the uh, spots where you put the screws in, that's to hold them together. And we're gonna do that all the way across. Guys, so I know this ain't no one person job, but this is how it looks like right now. Uh, we're gonna need one more corner right here. 
and then the do door is gonna go on top and then we're gonna try to do a roof but it, not, it ain't gonna be today it's gonna be tomorrow because that's you charge the battery and all that stuff and go do other stuff all right guys next one step 7.17 is this long piece as you see detail this is how it's gonna be like this and I'm gonna have to put 12 screws down on the bottom you see all these screws right here so that's that's what we're gonna do put it on top all right guys step eight as you see we need a gel in bag that has all this stuff in it which is right here Jalen, uh, we're gonna need a round rod and AFV uh, plat uh, platform. So that's a shelf, which is gonna be this piece, black one. Uh, so what it means, uh, we're gonna have to choose a side, as you see right here, which uh, the height that we need it. We're gonna bolt these on. Get the corners and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys, as you see, it says choose any three heights. So, there, here's one, here's the middle, and here's the bottom shelf. Uh, what we're gonna do is put it in the middle because uh, this will not give me as much leverage, uh, roof uh, level or some whatever. But uh, put it in the middle, you can put something tall boxes on top or something. And yeah, you still have plenty of free space on the bottom. So it's up to you what you want to do with all this uh, distance where you want to, what you want to use it. So that, that's what they give you an option for that. Or later on, you could probably buy a couple other shelves on the side and just build a third shelf, uh, two more shelves. But that's going to be total up to you guys. All right, so we're going to use FEX. There's four of them. As you see, you choose a height. And you put them in this way, I guess. So let me just go and put one. So, just like that. Now I'll put one here and then two on the other corner. All right, guys. So next thing, as you see, these don't need screws yet, at least. They're going to be secured with some other shit. But we're going to use these. Step two. And use the black screws right here. Not the ones, the, the, the galvanized ones. But we're going to use four black ones. And we're going to put them in the corner, as you see. So we can hold them together. 8.3. Step 8.3. These triangles going to go inside. Uh, let me put a pause and I'll show you. As you see, they go right in the gaps. Uh, all right so anyways this is how they're gonna go inside let's see uh, let me just figure figure it out a little bit how how deep and how good I, oh. are they gonna go which way they should go this way all right one second let me figure out play it around with that a little bit hey guys I mean, I was, wasn't paying attention too much for details, but here you go. This is, these are the gaps that they should go into. One right here for the screw and one right here. And we need four of them. So that's how it is. Even though it has only one gap. Then let me see. All right, guys. Apparently, this is how it has the screws that go throughout the middle. As you see these. Well, we just unscrew these right here and re-screw, that's how it is. And this shelf is going to go up on top with screws that goes in each hole. And before you do that, uh, before you do that, as you see, it has back on it. So, and these rods going to go right in here like this. And we're going to screw it on top of the shelf so that's how it's gonna be all right guys what well, i guess our uh our size was a little off by like quarter of an inch i had to chop some off as you see otherwise it wouldn't fit, fit so I, as you see i chopped this one off just to make the right size keep an eye on it 
sometimes they do make mistakes you see this so this is how much I had to chop off so about a quarter of an inch so just a heads up you might need to do that all right guys step nine is we're gonna put that this big piece right here in the middle and we're gonna have to screw screw in with the screws using a uh, GLW screws and two G, uh, G, 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 uh, Z. So, G, G, Z goes on the bottom, I guess. Guys, right, so we did assemble these, screw these on, did these also on top. As you see, small little screws go right here. And then we have these two. And then we have the black ones on top of the bolts, bolts and nuts on the other side. All right. All right, guys, now what we're gonna do is do the triangles. Just a heads up, pay attention, because a lot of comments that we just read, they did short a lot of screws, so I bought similar ones. As you see, they're not exactly the same size, but the head is just about the same. Thickness is just almost. So what I did also bought the... the washers, so I don't over screw, over tighten. And just so it could hold it tight. So just a heads up guys, because you see I'm down like already like 20 screws or so. And I need 12 and 12, 24. And I add a couple others, so maybe close to 30 screws that are that they shorted me. Alright guys, our next step is to, to put these rubber things on top and bottom. So let me just put a pause for a second, I'll show you what uh, I mean. All right, so as you see, I put them on the bottom, both right here and the same thing on the other side. And then I did them on top. And then that just goes in and holds the door for a second. So now when you do the glass plastic or something, uh, we'll see. So hey guys, uh, next thing we did the wall, the wall. I mean the top, I know it's kind of flimsy right now, but we're going to wait till we do the poles so we can tie it up and screw it and to have it hold together. But our uh, next thing, it was a little hard time finding, but if you look at this, it says uh, these, we have two of these and two, two of these, these pieces. And you see how they show, it looks like the back wall. But I had to play around, figure out, and it look as that, if you look close, they do have a gap for it. You can see, and it says right here at the front door, uh, rain stop to the bottom of the front corner. So, basically, what it is, here's a door. The rain stop is right here. That's what it is. You just put it right here, both sides, and there's a screw hole right here. So, you just take a screw and uh, tighten up. And you do that for both sides. All right, next uh, thing is the roof assembly. Finally getting there. As you see, we need some poles. This, uh, all these pieces right here. Which this is, as you remember, I did put them in already because it said in a step, uh, the previous steps in the beginning, like step one or step two. How to assemble this piece and all. So, anyways, this is what it is. This is the tools. I mean, the parts that we need it. So, let's go to step ten, section one. Is finally doing the poles. And we need these uh, bolts and A Z uh, nuts. So, set three truss from. And transform into a rear wall extension. So, see one, two, three. All right. Now, just to pay attention, just a heads up for you. Uh, these poles are like two piece. If you look close, you see that this the little piece. It has one long one and one short one. So the short one goes up front, uh, where the two piece connect. And that's what we're going to do is I take a long pole right here and the short one sticks out a little bit over there. So that's how it is. Let's take a look close again. Make sure we're doing it right. 
and we're going to need a bolt to connect them right here in the middle with these and like I said in the beginning they actually screwed me over where this they showed the picture where it should be on the bottom so then when I look to the other picture let's go right here uh, let's see uh, so I don't you see this see that pole now they show on the top you see this it shows on top sometimes this can be peanut butt with all this nonsense of their uh, instruction manuals there's just so much nonsense in it all right well anyways let's get to the point thank you all right guys another lousy mistake remember it showed in the picture how these the round ones uh are should be on the bottom remember i said to pay attention to it well i was wrong because you see how the gap i barely fit my finger right here well you see i had to re-screw this play around figure out the circles are on the bottom now it goes in and so i'm going to have the screws because i'm gonna to have to redo these again once again and hey look there's fire all that figured out so anyways now we're going to use the little bolts and nuts right here that ones that are on the picture I'm going to tie them up on both, as you see on both ends, I don't know why they made, they should have made a probably one long one, and that, that probably make a lot, a lot easier instead of having two little ones, but that's how they decided to do, made in China. Alright guys, as you see, not only I had to drill a hole right here for this one, look at this, they don't even match, not quite. You see this? So, as you see, here's a pencil mark. I should drill it where it's supposed to be. If you look at it, here's a square, see? Where it shows that I need to drill a hole, but I guess I need to drill a little bit further, like a quarter of an inch uh, further. And that's a lot. I guess they were really drunk and that's why they didn't want to mess with it and didn't drill a hole at all. So, all right, you see what I'm talking about? You see how this hole matches with this? Look at this. I still need to drill more. That's really, really being drunk. As you see, that's what I was talking exactly about. How? My real question is how, and this is all flush and straight, as you see. That's it, up against the, 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 the wall, you could say. Unbelievable. So 10.2, we got the little rods over here. I'll show you. I forgot to mention, but they do go in here and you got four long ones. And you, you have four tall, uh, short ones over here. So anyways, guys, we got the FEX. Says we need 17. Uh, with this. All right, guys, so next thing we'll do is uh, this little rod. Goes in here upside down, as you see, using the same screws. All right, guys, it is a little dark, so we're gonna make a little light. So first of all, when you stick in, screw these the outside ones first. Next thing, when you combine these two, don't screw them in separate ways, cause connect the two sheds together, cause the, uh, this piece right here is actually a rain gutter. Uh, so next one, as you see, like right here, the next one goes up over this, the half side, the way, uh, in between the cracks, if the rain, the water fl flows, it goes to down, down below and outside the, the shed. So this is what we did right now, since it's coming a little loose, haven't had time to do this, we just put this uh, rail on. This is what I say, you see the gaps, so it goes in here, the roof, we're going to put the roof on, and then that gap should be, this should hold together, and we can close that gap, 
and tighten the screws right here on that side and same thing and same thing right here this is all all's gonna come together look I just need to put a little g-force on it and screw it on and we're just about done all right guys I know I've missed a few steps a little bit here and there but this is how it looks like let me look show you inside um so I know I missed a few steps. I need to tighten this up right now. Just readjust a little bit of uh, the hinges. Anyways, one other thing I want to let you know. There's four of these, not eight. Or whatever it is. And in description, this owner's manual, it says they need four on each one, as you see. Which, uh, total screw up on it. In the description, because technically, uh... I took them off because uh, when we put in all four right here, they were in the way. And then once we finished the roof, I realized they're, they have two here. I mean, one in each corner, as you see. So two for this big one and two for the small one. But I'll just put a caulk in it and call it good. I'm not even going to worry about it right now. But that's a little detail on it that they miss. Also, heads up, guys. You see this? I have to go in and buy some screws because there's like 30 of them that were missing at least. So they, I don't know. They don't know how to count. So, and since they're not exactly this size, but just a little bit smaller, I had to buy uh, washers so, so they hold. I'm not go through the hole like that because that's what it is to have a little holes hole gap Just like I don't know right here, but it's they have a little cut out hole for it that it just goes right through Barely barely holds it once you push it with the finger. It goes right through it. So I just bought also washers Those are little things you need to watch out for guys, but in, anyways Sorry for a little miss Selenius things there and there. I know it's kind of hard doing by yourself. Especially I've had a couple people hold, help me hold it. Uh, to hold the corners together. To tighten all this up. So you can't really do it by yourself. Like 90%. About 80% you can do it by yourself. But you're going to need somebody help to here and there to hold the sides, the walls and all that stuff. And the, the roof. Especially if you might need a tall guy. So, here it is, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. And hope you find some good information because I know they recently uploaded one of the videos how to assemble this when I was assembling. I had nothing. I couldn't find nothing on the internet. So, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching.